Herbs in Action. Reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. My name is Ryan Unks. I work in rangeland ecology, so I work in rangelands in East Africa, and I'm studying how livelihoods and vegetation have changed and how those interrelate to each other. One plant that's been really interesting to me while I've been working in central Kenya is this plant, Euphorbia tirukali. When I first started interviewing people, people really were remarking about how there used to be this forest canopy in this area, and uh, I couldn't figure out what this plant was that people were talking about called Pusharuti. There weren't even any examples of it around anywhere, so I couldn't actually confirm what this species was, and it was really this completely unique type of forest there. It does have medicinal use, and so it's been used to treat coughs and colds a lot, but it's highly toxic too, so you have to be careful in how you use it people in this area keep livestock but they also keep bees and I guess the honey was really good from this tree and so it would all flower and like produce this really rich honey at certain times and the honey was also medicinal too it could be used to treat colds and coughs it was also very good for the livestock as well it would uh, make the livestock really healthy when they were foraging on it but also flavor the milk so it just disappeared around the early 90s or late 80s I'm not sure, and nobody really understands why. People think that, oh, it might be these camels, you know, because camels are new to the area, and they think maybe the camels ate it all, or maybe the elephants ate it all. There's this really interesting historical relationship between this community and a, a landowner in the area that owns quite a large amount of land that used to belong to the people in this community. People say, well, maybe he poisoned it. Maybe he killed this tree. So there are all these really interesting stories about it. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or to learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjbergerfoundation.org.